Today we're going to talk about the SKB series, uh, I series uh, gun cases. These cases come in a variety of sizes. I've got everything from smaller pistol cases up to larger assault rifle and even long barrel rifle cases. Every case in the line features a trigger latch, which uh, gives you like a secure, makes the waterproof seal possible on these. Uh, opening up the case, you can see it actually has a rubber seal that goes all the way around. And this gasket actually seals on this lip here. So when you close it, you actually get a completely waterproof seal. All the SKB line, all the SKB cases in this line feature foam. Uh, is a solid type. It's not the plug and pull. And the advantage to this is you, can, when you actually cut it, you get a much much better fit uh, with your gun. Um, and overall, this will last longer also. So this particular one has multiple layers of foam even. So, for instance, you could actually put two handguns in this case if you wanted to, stacked. Or you could do uh, the gun and a couple magazines or what other accessories you may have. The cases also feature steel edge uh, lock so if you put a lock on there for instance I mean it's nearly impossible to get it off um, and that's also reinforced they also have a rubber handle which is ergonomic and make it easy to candle and then it has a atmospheric uh, pressure valve and this does since this is a completely sealed case if you try to open it without that valve it'd be very hard to open so what it does is it allows airflow to flow out of the valve but it doesn't allow anything to go in, like water, for instance. So we're actually going to take this case as a test, and I'll actually show you guys that it is completely waterproof. Some brands say water resistance, but SKB, these are waterproof. So if I take this guy, we'll dunk him all the way down. Let's hold him for a second. Just wipe off the edges so we can get a fair comparison here. If we open this guy up, you can see, I mean, there's a little water around the seal, but there's absolutely no water on the foam or anywhere around it. We also have a video on cutting the actual foam out, and we'll go over some different techniques we have for that. Um, but as far as the feature overview, um, on the larger cases they also have um, roller wheels. So these are actually skate, inline skate type wheels. Um, so I mean if you get a couple of guns in this, you're, you're going to need a little help getting it around. Um, but that makes them even easier to transport. And then like these have handles on both sides and a front handle. This SKB case is our uh, rifle model. It'll also fit uh, shotguns and assault rifles. Um, this case from foam edge to foam edge is right at 42 inches and it has two thicker layers of foam and then it also has like a shallower uh, base layer again. Um, this foam's a little more difficult to cut but um, th there's some workarounds. Uh, I've got a solution for you that makes it a snap to go right through it. Um, what I've got the layout in this one is um, an AR-15. So let me grab that guy. Again, we're going to check him. Make sure there's no rounds in there. Okay. This guy's empty. So laying him up here, you can see, I mean, even with my inch clearance, um, there's still room uh, for magazines or accessories, scope, um, any other attachments you may have for it. Or if you have another rifle, we've got an AK 47 here. Check the reach right here. This guy, you could even do something like that if you wanted to, and have room for both of them there. So, I mean, there's a lot of options. I'll show you guys what it looks like um, with a couple shotguns laid in there, too. I've got a pump action here, and you can see, I mean, even it's fits uh, 
without too much trouble. Still got room on both sides of it. So again, if you had that, and then something like this guy. We've got a semi-auto semi shotgun here. Um, I mean, you still have room, and you could even lay these out if you want to. Uh, do a second gun on the second layer, or, you know, pretty much however you want to configure it. You're can set it up that way. So let's go back to the AR-15. Set them back down here. So we're going to go ahead and set this guy up like this for now. Um, if you had your magazines, you know, you would lay those out uh, or whatever other accessories you're going to want to install in case. You would go ahead and lay them out also. And then you can either use uh, chalk or uh, I've been using a red sharpie. And what we want to do is go ahead and uh, get the outline down here. And again, you can really take your time with this. I'm just, just for demonstration purposes. I'm just going to do it real basic to show you guys here. And if you don't want these lines showing, like I said, you can use chalk, uh, but I just find Sharpies a little easier to see. So let's pull this out of here. You can see our outline we got there. So to cut it this time, there's our layout there. So to cut it this time, what I actually recommend using, since you can't really freeze a piece this huge, I mean, unless you've got a pretty big freezer, it's going to be pretty difficult. Um, What I actually recommend using is a regular little carving knife. Um, and I mean, it actually will go through this like butter. It doesn't work real well on you know the smaller uh, curved sections, but you can either get in there with a razor blade and dig those out, um, or you can use a serrated knife also, but um, you're not gonna get as clean of edges. So what I recommend doing is starting at the longest point. And you can't, you know, really start with this on, so get it started. Just dig out there. And I'm lining this actually up with this edge of this table, so it'll give us a nice straight edge that way. But you can see it goes through it like butter, and you you can see how nice of an edge that is too. It's really clean. Like I said, again, I'm going quickly. Obviously, the more time you spend on it, 
the nicer look you'll get, but just to show how fast I mean you could potentially do this. Cases. 